I like you, Peter. You're a good kid. There's a part of me that wants me to tell you just turn around, run away from all this, and then there's another part of me that knows what we're about to fight, what's at stake. And I'm glad you're here. That is Jake Gyllenhaal playing Mysterio in this summer's Spider-Man Far From Home, which this week passed the billion-dollar box office milestone. That role in a big-budget superhero movie was a first for the Oscar-nominated Gyllenhaal, who over the last 20 years has earned his place among Hollywood's best actors. The Spider-Man blockbuster began a month for the 38-year-old that ends now with the debut of something on the other end of the entertainment spectrum. A critically acclaimed Broadway play with only two actors, each performing a long, intense monologue about life and death. Jake and I got together at the Hudson Theater here in New York just days before previews began this weekend for his play, Seawall, A Life. In the final days before the curtain goes up on Jake Gyllenhaal's latest production, crews at the Hudson Theater are hustling to get the place in shape. The theater is completely <laughs> falling apart. The roof's literally caving like, in. Yeah, like, like I, what is that? <laughs> we are in that Tom Hanks movie about the house. That oh, Money Pit. We're in Money, Money Pit. Pit. Yeah, it's great. yeah, it's great. Yeah. Gyllenhaal brings Seawall Alive to the bigger Broadway stage after its acclaimed off-Broadway run at New York's Public Theater. What's that going to feel like to have moved this from the public to Broadway? Man, I don't know what it is. You make me cry. It's, uh, it's, um... I feel really responsible to my author and his work and what he's given me and how vulnerable he's been in sharing what he shares and what he wrote and how beautiful it is. Gyllenhaal co-stars with English actor Tom Sturridge. Each performs a separate monologue. Sturridge begins with Seawall. Come and play with me. Gyllenhaal follows with a life. We're smiling. It's a show about faith and family and the mess and comedy of life, you know? It's about, really, actually about two fathers. How are the two acts related? I think they're linked because they're about love and loss and the idea that in order to love anything, the inevitability of loss is there. That's how we love and why we love and why we cherish it. You know, I am not a father. Um, I do hope to be a father one day. Can I ask you something? Gyllenhaal calls the show an experience unlike any other in theater. I've been to a lot of theater and I've never seen the two stars, I don't think, come out and stand at the front of the stage and take questions and listen mm -hmm. after they've been through this emotionally exhausting experience. Yeah. Why is that part of it something that you and Tom want to do? It's the reason we're coming to Broadway. Because I think, I don't think we realize the impact these stories would have. Are you a review reader of your work? Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, the quotes are on the poster, so that's a little weird. You walk into the theater and you see them. I did see you standing outside in front of greatest actor of his generation, just pointing up at it, waiting for people to notice. Well, I'm desperately trying to <laughs> let people know that that, you know, obviously. <laughs> Um, the big, I've taken, subtle headline. Let's just say I've taken a thousand selfies in front of that. <laughs> yeah, and there's snow. <laughs> Jake was born and raised in Los Angeles by a screenwriter mom and director dad with older sister Maggie Gyllenhaal, who of course is an actor as well. And Maggie has offered some helpful notes on her little brother's performance. There's a big moment in the show where I go back and forth between time, and then I'm actually playing in one point my wife and myself while she's in labor, and then as she gives birth. And my sister, I remember afterwards, she's like, we need to talk about the labor part. I just, um, <laughs> you didn't quite get it, you know? <laughs> you mentioned your sister. Have your parents seen it? Yeah. Everything my dad and I have, everything my mom and I have, good and bad together, was set aside. Mm. And it was very, like, a lot of love. A lot of love. It's, uh, for the lack of sounding, like, really, you know, no, cheesy. I get it. Just a lot of love. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Jake made his film debut in 1991 at the age of 10, playing Billy Crystal's son in City Slickers. My dad's name Mitch. Was there ever any chance you were going to be anything other than an actor? I mean, my love for, for acting, for storytelling, is pretty deep. But the truth is you're an actor because you have no idea what you want to be right. or do. And we'll leave the real jobs to, like, <laughs> right. much stronger, much more courageous people. 
His first leading role came in the 1999 film October Sky. I'm going to build a rocket. I think I auditioned maybe 15 times after my first initial audition. So I, when I got that role, that felt like, oh my God, I'm like starring in a movie. Like it was mind blowing. It was a little overwhelming, honestly. Since then, Hall has made a career out of playing offbeat characters in films like Donnie Darko, Nightcrawler, and Zodiac. Just because you can't prove it doesn't mean it's not true. While occasionally diving into big budget movies like The Day After Tomorrow and Jarhead. Sir, sure, yes, sir! But the movie that likely jumps to mind when you hear Jake Gyllenhaal's name is the groundbreaking Brokeback Mountain. His 2005 performance alongside Heath Ledger earned Gyllenhaal an Oscar nomination and changed his life. When we did like Brokeback Mountain, I was like, whoa, what's going on? This right. is a, a level of focus and attention that hits a certain nerve that you're like, this is bigger than me. To be 26 years old and to be like, at the Academy Awards, you know, you're like, whoa. It opened tons of doors. It was like, it was amazing. It was crazy. It was amazing. Um, and it has, and it's defined my career in different ways. I wish I knew how to quit you. I see people and who have joked with me or criticized me about lines I say in that movie, you know? And that's the thing I loved about Heath, was he never, he would never joke. Someone wanted to make a joke about the story or whatever. He was like, no, this is about love. Like, that's it, man. Like, no. Gyllenhaal's latest movie, Spider-Man Far From Home, is something new entirely. A first trip for the actor into the Marvel Universe, playing Mysterio in the billion dollar blockbuster. You don't want any part of this. Spider-Man came at the almost the last minute. They came to me like, and they were like, hey, do you want to play this character? And, and I said, yeah. I mean, yeah, I love Tom Holland. I love the first movie. Then putting on the costume was a whole other thing, and like wearing a superhero suit was a whole other thing that I had to get used to, and like <laughs> jumping from platforms and pretending like you were flying was a whole other thing. Back in the Broadway universe, with no superhero suits or special effects, Hall gets a different thrill. It's just so cool. I can't even, it's been my dream since I was a kid to be on Broadway. I've been on Broadway now three times, and every time it feels like the first time. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you for the time. That's great. Thank you for taking I'll let you time. finish with the ceiling. Yeah, I'm going to go Get figure out what's going on. Does anybody have a broom? I can report the plaster has been swept up and the Hudson Theater is good to go as Seawall A Life is in previews now with shows running from August 8th through September 29th. To hear Jake talk about being bossed around even to this day by his big sister Maggie, Check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Jake Gyllenhaal. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.